Hello, a theme for Massey Church in July is the Bible. I just want to give you a brief overview of the Bible. The Bible is more than a big old book. It's full of adventure, mystery, exciting stories. It gives us rules that we should all follow. But more importantly, everywhere you look in the Bible, you'll find a promise from God. The Bible was not written by just one person. It was written by about 40 men over a period of 1500 years. These men came from a variety of backgrounds and they were all different. For example, Elijah was a prophet, Ezra was a priest, Paul was a tent maker, Luke was a doctor, Peter was um, a fisherman and Matthew was a tax collector. There are 66 books in the whole Bible. 39 in the Old Testament, 27 in the New. Bible is from the Latin Biblia, which means a library. So the Bible is a library of 66 books. You may already know some of the stories in the Bible. In the Old Testament, there's the story of the beginning of the universe and the creation of man are found. We learn about brave men like Noah, David, Daniel and Moses, and brave women like Ruth, Esther and Sarah. You'll remember Esther from last month's message, Church. Throughout the Old Testament, God asks his people to obey his laws, but over and over again, they disobey him. Despite this disobedience, God promises to make a way for things to be right again. And the New Testament tells us about how God's promises that he made in the Old Testament came true. The New Testament is very exciting also and all about the birth, the life, the teachings, the death and resurrection of a very special person called Jesus. Jesus is the saviour promised to us in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we learned what Jesus taught and what happened in his life. And we learn from Jesus about his life, how he made the Old Testament promises of salvation come true when he died on the cross for us. The very best part of the story is when God came, is when Jesus came back to life again. The Bible is like a long letter written to us from God. He made sure there were stories that we could learn from. And if we're having a bad day, the Bible can help with that too. He made sure there are many, plenty of verses to help us feel better and tons more where he tells us that he loves us. One of my favourite verses in the Bible is Jeremiah 31 verse 3, where it says, God is speaking, I have loved you with an everlasting love. What does everlasting mean? Oh, it goes for on forever and ever. So God is saying that he loved you before you were born. And he will always, forever in the future, love you. What a great promise. 